So okay, I'm gonna give you uh, instruction how to uh, start and uh, the performance of the OMG T2030 NC saw. Uh, uh, the first thing you wanna do is turn the power on. Then you need to open up for the keyboard. And open up for three. Usually this one can be locked. You start the screen. Have your keyboard and your mouse. The first thing we need to do is uh, to load the program. You need to press F1, just like that. And then the system will reboot and uh, find everything on the program. This is our own version of Windows XP, uh, so everything uh, works. It just takes uh, like 30 seconds to start it. So, we're in the program now. Uh, we have the OMG, uh, everything is started. Uh, I gotta take a camera. So, it looks like this, everything. Uh, here is the basic program. Uh, you have uh, different uh, automatic, uh, is when you go, uh, uh, when you start doing the cuts. Uh, but here. In the programs, you can always do new programs, everything. I have a setup for different programs uh, in the saw right now. Uh, like if we chop the blocks, I have uh, this one for blocks. Then it chops the blocks, you, you just decide the length. Uh, like here, we have like uh, a different model of the program that uh, I'm gonna show you. Then I just press on that and load the program. So here we have the everything uh, that we're cutting now. Like now we're cutting 90 millimeters and 100 uh, millimeters wide. Uh, and here just push the setup. So like now we're cutting 400 pieces. So you can just decide uh, what you want to cut. If you want to cut 400 or 600 or 1200, you just put down all the different uh, possibilities. Like you can always choose from different lengths uh, because the boards are different. So you can just put in what you need. If you need 400, 600, 800, uh, for example, uh, then the saw decides what's uh, the most important uh, thing he can put out from the board. He's counting the length and uh, optimizing the possibilities so it's uh, less uh, things to throw out there. So now we have this program. Uh, I'm just gonna show you. Now I have the program uh, already saved. And uh, now I go to automatic, uh, just load program. And then I just take my program here, like I uh, usually want to show this one. Uh, press on that, it loads. You press on work list. And here I have uh, the lengths. Uh, I put 400 for everything because we use 400 for now. Uh, and uh, that's it for the program. So uh, the thing we need to do now, uh, just close here. We need to reset our X, just press that. We have no alarms, safety control is uh, also. Uh, we start the motor, uh, just press start. And then we need to wait like uh, 20, 15, 20 seconds uh, for the saw to start. You can hear everything. Then we're gonna hear like a click. So, like now, then we know we can start the saw. Then to start the CN cutting, uh, you just press start CN or stop. You can always, the saw can go. If you change the program, it can be running all the time, but you press start and stop here. So for example, now, now we start the CN cutting. Uh, so now I'm gonna put the board. For example, like now, we just put it here. And easy way, uh, we just put here. It only come out from the conveyor belt and it's land here. But uh, there are possibilities we did start to like have something that grabs a robot or something like that to fix the board. Uh, otherwise, we have uh, everything like the safety issue, the pressure, uh, the how fast the blade can go, the faster the blade cut, the faster the saw go. Uh, but we usually cut 
little bit slower to have uh, more uh, better production.